So, I got a question, um, I'm not sure if it was today or yesterday, about uh, how can I make a jump, Jumbotron or Jump Rotoron, whatever that is, uh, with Ray Moore Effect from JavaScript and CSS. Now, I've never heard of what a Jumbotron was until I've, I've read that. So, anyway, so what, what I'll do is um just take that down go into bootstrap studio and on the left this is a new design and on the left here it's got uh when you you do your search jump jump jumbotron is that how you spell is that how you pronounce that jumbotron anyway it says that this is bootstrap's jumbotron component it is used to showcase key content on your page Look great with an image background, bold contrasting text, and action button. So, the chap who said this wants uh, wants to know how to, um, presumably from this learn more button here, to uh, to get it to read more text. Uh, so, do like we normally do, um, and this is the way I'm tackling this personally. I think there'll be quite a few ways to do this. There might even be some better ways, but this is the way I'm going to do it for now. So here you have your um, HTML editor code. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up another paragraph here and put P um, in there. I'm just going to put Lorem uh, Ipsum Dollar. And it, it could be as uh, short or long as you, you would want. So, I think I've had a few, actually, thinking back, I think I've had a few questions similar to this. So, anyway, it must obviously be important to people. So, um, when you, the idea is, I think, is to, where it says learn more there, where the mouse is, and then you click that, and then you get more um, text or anything. I mean, you can be wherever you want it to be, but I'm just going to do text here. Um, on here, I'm just going to put, um, I'll just let you see the code. So I'm just going to put ID equals, um, I'll just put uh, more, um, that's just for more text. Up here, href as well, as you put more. There, there is a, another way of doing this. Uh, just in CSS now I've thought but anyway just put this for now and I'm going to put in uh, a function or to call a function I'm going to put on click equals um, and call the function more as well and just parathesis okay um, and on here I'm just going to put visibility uh, so I just want to style inside here, just makes it easy to keep everything compact so everybody can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to put visibility, vis, il, it, and I'm going to put hidden. Okay, hidden. So, um, I'm just going to put that as apply. Okay, so that's basically um, what now, what the way I'm wanting is... When you click on that button, you want Laura Ipsum Dola to come up. So, um, it is a little tricky this, but anyway, we're just going to put in another JavaScript and create JS. Um, and I'm going to put in open. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to function. Now, the function is more, so it's curly um, parathesis. And then your curly back of things. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the ID, which is more there. So if you look at P, the last paragraph there, P ID equals more. So that's the that's the um, ID that I want to be calling or getting. So how I do this, or how, I, how I'm going to do this, is document dot get element by ID 
and again brats burn speech marks and that is where the id is uh, which is more okay and here we're going to just put in style and this is the syntax visibility V-E-B-U-F-G. I sometimes find that hard to spell, but anyway, because I'm thick. Anyway, so, and just equals, and we're going to put that as visible. Okay. And semicolon to be correct. Although it would still work without that. Um, so, style visible, visible, not sure if that's spelled right, visible. Itty, isn't it? Visible itty. Spelling's what was. Um, visible itty hidden. So let's see if this works then. So we've got preview and open browser. And come on. Something not right there. Okay, so we just put learn more. And there you have Lorem Ipsum Dola. So, how to go, so you can actually have anything you want on there, so it doesn't have to be Lorem Ipsum Dola, obviously. So what I've done, okay, is uh, just make that go back. Okay, so, to explain this, what I'm doing is while I'm not, I'll just go in there so it shows, while I'm not having um, the function called from the uh, the more function it's actually invisible so your text invisible until you call the function hope that makes sense but if you struggle on anything there just get back to us and i'll go over it um because the code the code is a bit tricky um especially if, if you're very new to this type of thing um but it's all you're doing is you on clicking that learn more button with the function more and then this then it becomes when you do that javascript is a, a powerful language so when you're doing that the style becomes visible then so i hope that's explained it for you um if it hasn't as i say just get back in touch but thanks for watching and thanks for listening